At one time, there may have been tens of thousands of sea turtles nested along the Gulf Coast. By 1985, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles were almost extinct. They had lived through the age of the dinosaurs, and in fact, uh, sea turtles uh, have been around for eons and eons, uh, millions and millions of years. Everything looked pretty rosy for Kemp's Ridley recovery. However, this oil spill has changed uh, everything in a sense. Uh, because we have no idea whether or not this is going to set recovery back. We need people to be aware of Camps Ridley, the dangers that they face both in the marine environment and on our beaches. I think what's most attractive to us about the Camps Ridley is that people had written it off. People had said this is going to break everybody's heart. It's pre-dawn at the Padre Island National Seashore, south of Corpus Christi, Texas. Donna Shaver and her team from the U.S. National Park Service are about to release several hundred turtle hatchlings to return to the sea. There's about 50 in each box for a total of 196 today. We're releasing them separately so that we don't get all the gulls congregated. We, after all of our hard work, we're, we don't want these to become gull food. They are ready. Hatchlings, they orient to the brightest area, and what that is now is the white of the white caps of the surf. Got turtles that are really healthy and active, so I'm anticipating a great release this morning. The Texas coastline has recently seen the largest increase in turtle nests on record. As recently as the 1940s, 40,000 nests could be seen on the beach near Rancho Nuevo, Mexico. When a large group of sea turtles arrives to nest, it's called an arabata. What we have found over the years is a typical turtle nests every other year. But some turtles will nest year after year after year. But we were down to about 300 nesting females for the year of 1985. And that's a far cry from 40,000 in a day. Today, along the Mexican Gulf Coast, several thousand Kemp's Ridleys arrive every year between March and August. Volunteers search for the eggs and remove them to a safe location for incubation. When eggs are found on the beach, they will be moved to corrals where they are better protected. Our corral holds uh, up to about 100 nests. All right, we're going to check this nest, so it ought to be hatching any day now. We're not seeing turtles yet, but what we're seeing are these eggs are dimpled, meaning they're not full, uh, which means they're getting ready to pip. Pipping is when the uh, turtle breaks through the eggshell. At this sea turtle lab in Galveston, biologist Ben Higgins is working to save these injured young turtles. Students from area schools visit the lab. Injured hatchlings are brought to the lab for rehabilitation. These are four Kemp's Ridley hatchlings that uh, hatched from a nest that went undetected in front of the San Luis Hotel right in front of the seawall in Galveston. And it wasn't until the hatchlings were actually emerging from the sand and people were on the beach and saw these turtles coming up out of the ground, uh, they called us. We would not even have known this nest existed if, if the public had not called the 1-866-TURTLE-5 a number and reported this. They probably would have got run over with the next load of beach umbrellas that was taken off the beach, if not trampled by the beachgoers or eaten by dogs. Even though the turtles are surviving, the increased human population, the remaining threat from commercial fishing, and the dramatic rise of development along the Gulf Coast continue to threaten the survival of the species. We're seeing increasing numbers every year, which is very encouraging because the first few years of the project, it was just going down, down, and down. And to have one species that seems to be pulling itself back from the brink of extinction is very heartening. The Kemp's Ridley overcame the odds because of decades of public support and effort and resources by the U.S. and Mexico. The two nations worked together to save the species from extinction. The survival of the Kemp's Ridley is again up to us. <laughs>